Happy Halloween. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. I hope your day is filled with candy and scares. Hi guys, Max Maxwell on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to get Google Assistant running on any Android device. Now, you'll have to have Android 7.0 or 7.1 running on your Android device and you'll have to have your phone rooted. So long as those requirements are met, you'll be able to use full Google Assistant on your Android device. So let's go ahead and do this, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, um, make sure you have a rooted device running Android 7.0 or 7.1. You can go ahead and check that in settings about phone and you'll see I'm running Android 7.1 Nougat. All right, next, go into the Play Store and go ahead and search for build prop, All right? Build prop and go ahead and install build prop editor. All right, go ahead and open build prop editor. Um, super user request might pop up. Make sure you hit allow if it does. Go ahead and search for model. Right, you should see uh, ro.product.model. Right, if you see that, then go ahead and edit that and put pixel XL. If you don't see it, um, like on CM14.1, we're gonna go ahead and add another line here and go ahead and type. Go ahead and type ro product.model equal pixel XL exactly like that. Hit enter and also type ro.opa.eligible underscore device equal true. And go ahead and hit save. Save. Make sure you hit allow. All right, that's pretty much it. And we're going to go ahead and reboot. Uh, if you're using a Nexus device or Pixel device, um, you'll be able to use Google Assistant right away. Now, there's an additional step if you're using a non-Nexus phone, non-Pixel phone, such as a Galaxy S5 or whatever you're running, Note 3. All right, go ahead and hold down the home button. If you have a Nexus device, Google Assistant should be working now and you should be done, all right? But nothing's happening on mine, all right? Or if you, if you don't get Google Assistant now, instead of you get something else, here's what you got to do. Um, so go ahead and download velvet.apk. Uh, it's a Google Assistant APK. You can download from apkquick.com. I'll have the links uh, on where you can get it. And what you want to do, uh, open up ES File Explorer. And let me actually disable this. And then go ahead and enable root explorer. Make sure you hit allow when it asks you to uh, enable root. And also hit on root explorer. Go to my, mount rw and make sure slash system is set to rw that means we can write to the system partition all right next go ahead and go into your download folder and you should have downloaded the velvet apk let me actually show you go to view medium detail and it'll also show you the file size make sure it's 33 megabytes all right just like that what you're going to do is go ahead and do a long click copy and we're going to go ahead and go into the root directory the slash Right, and we're gonna go into system and go into priv app. Right, and we're gonna look for velvet uh, folder. If you don't see it, go ahead and just paste it here, anywhere here. Right, and we can make a new directory real quick. Make a new folder called velvet, exactly like that. Right, we're gonna go ahead and cut this. And we're going to put it into this directory. Now if, now, if there was a directory, you should have just written over it. The last thing you want to do is go ahead and do a long press, more properties. Go ahead and change the permissions. Make sure it's set to read, write, read, read. All right, hit OK. All right, one more thing you got to do. Make sure you have Google app installed. All right, go ahead and install that. And I forgot to tell you for also Nexus users, um, you're supposed to clear out the Google uh, cache, which I'll show you here. All right, once that's installed, go into settings, go into apps, go into Google app, go into storage, manage space, clear all data. All right, that should be good to go. Go ahead and reboot. And now you should have 
100% Google Assistant working on your uh, Android device. All right, once rebooted, go ahead and hold down the button. And now you'll be able to uh, use Google Assistant. Hit continue. All right, let's get started. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Up. Oh, if you can't use the microphone, you'll have to ch change the permissions. Go back to go back to settings apps. Go to Google app permissions. Make sure microphone is checked on. And we'll go ahead and try it again. Hi, I'm your Google assistant. There you go. I Weather in San Francisco. It's 63 and mostly cloudy there. Now anytime you want to use Google Assistant, you can go ahead and hold down the home button just like a real Nexus a Pixel, sorry. What is the weather in San Francisco? Right now, right now it's, 64 it's 64 and mostly, mostly cloudy, cloudy there. there. It'll be It'll rainy, rainy today, today with a forecasted high of 64 and a low of 56. Who is the smartest man on Earth? According to Anonok, Christopher Lingen. So it works exactly the same. And that's how you install Google Assistant on any Android device running 7.0, 7.1. And thank you guys for watching this video. All the files needed are on my site at highonandroid.com. I'll have the link to the files and the written tutorial in the description. So check the description below. Anyway, have a great day, folks. Happy Halloween. And as always, stay on Android, even on Halloween. Click here to subscribe.